Jadron here. What's going on, guys? I was just out with the XKX100. This is the 130T. This is a 5.8 gigahertz uh, acro and self leveling if you put it in self leveling mode. But uh, we are going to have it on a jumper. We are going to be using OTG, BAM, Esheen to cell phone, DR1 goggles, and uh, just kind of give it a fly. I'm not going to be in acro mode. I just want to kind of cruise around here. I really haven't done that with this drone, and we are going to be using the jumper. Okay guys, so this is the eye of the XK130T and uh, this is a nice feel for this drone. I really should get on the acro train maybe with something like this uh, that's a little bit smaller instead of a larger drone. But we're going to go ahead and fly this. We are in self leveling mode and uh, we're going to give this a good fly. We are going to test the range on this and then later if you stick with me throughout the entire video we will do some laps. We'll do some laps around my garage, around my house, and uh, that'll show that this is a very capable drone. Uh, I This will be the first time that I've actually done laps around my house, but until then, I'm building up a little bit of trust with the drone. I'm building up a little bit uh, of uh, respect for the drone, I guess you would say, just by kind of buzzing it around and getting a feel for it. Um, and I will do a little bit of range runs down my road. Cadillac hood is open. As you can see, I don't know how many of you guys are um, really hardcore J Drone fans. And if you follow me or whatnot, but the brown Cadillac, the two door is back in front of the garage. It was sitting over on the gas, on the grass. And uh, basically, what I'm doing with the white one is just charging up the battery, getting a full charge on it. I don't use the cars that much. So. Uh, Every every month or so, two months, three months, depends uh, how often I use the cars. I like to get a full charge on them. That way when they're sitting and the battery slowly drain, they should be good when I go back out to them. But anyway, about the drone, check it out, check it out, check it out. So we're running down here and uh, that's pretty good range. We're down at the basketball hoop right there. I forget which drone we had down here. Hmm. We had a 5.8 gigahertz drone out yesterday, and we didn't go down that far. We didn't have that. Look at it rip down. Look at it rip down. That's some nice speed. Uh, that was some nice speed. This is a brushed drone. Um, and guys, if anybody has any extra propeller blades for this, please send them my way. J drone, J A Y D R O N E, Four East Market, M A R K E T Street. M C A D O O P A one eight two three seven. M C A D O O one eight two three seven. And here's a little rip around the house. A little rip around the house. We're getting a little feedback, but nothing crazy. Nothing super fuzz. And that's a full lap right there. Um, no super fuzz. That that was nice. That is definitely fun. And we're going around again. Going around again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit of speed on it too. A little bit of speed on it. And we're bouncing off the ground a little bit. This is a brush drone. It's not gear to gear. It's a cordless uh, brush motor, but it is a brush drone. So for it to kind of rip around and then recover and slightly bounce off the ground, that's acceptable for me. This is a really nice drone, guys. Uh, if you can get these uh, bind and fly BNF, which I don't know if you can. If you can, it'll bind up to uh, your uh, XK controller. Checking down the street. Look both ways before crossing. We're not crossing. We're just messing around. Um... Or it'll bind to the jumper, T8SG, the V2, and the and the Plus. It'll bind to any of those if you guys are interested. I, but again, I don't know if they sell them bind and fly. I know the X100 that I had out earlier, that one they definitely sell bind and fly. We're way past, uh, not way past, but we passed that uh, basketball hoop there. And as you can see, we are ripping down. I slowed down a little bit here. Um, I kind of lifted up instead of going nose down like we were before. Just because I don't got that need for speed and goggles yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and come back around here and try to do another lap. Try to do another lap. We're coming around. We're coming around. And this is where Acro would be helpful. It'd be, bam, a little bit more precise. And what happened here is uh, on our fall, two propellers got knocked off. But I did find the two propellers. And I ended up resetting, as you can see right here. And we're going to take off again. But guys, I need propellers. I need propellers. Um, you Google and try to find the propellers for these. Uh, not too easy to. I, I got ones on order for the cordless motors. Um, but as you can see here, we end up, bam, smacking a tree again. And the other opposite two propellers came off. I should have pushed them down. I didn't do so. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If anybody has propellers for these, um, please send them my way. The address was uh, in here. If you haven't subscribed, please do later.